Okay, so today I am going to be reading Cat Noir X Readers because I find that interesting that there is such a thing. <laughs> First of all, why would you make an X reader? I'm just curious. I'm just, I'm just genuinely curious. Okay, so I am going to be reading two one shots today. I got permission from both of the authors, don't worry. So let's just get started. Okay, so this first video is by Artemis or Artemis Chike Chake. And the profile is at art underscore chike. There are 115 parts, so we're gonna randomly select a chapter. So I have selected the fan fiction now. It's called Top Secret Mission. Um, it's number 29. Okay. <clears throat> Cat Noir's POV. Skipping towards my kitten's house, my mind started racing like every time. What am I going to tell her? See, I've been laying my eyes on my beautiful princess for God knows how long. That's so cute. Princess. Oh, I love that. I'm, an, I'm, I'm stealing that. I have been lovesick all along and I always flirt with her to give her a sign, but she is so oblivious. She can't take a hint. Who could be so oblivious? I mean, like, if I'm flirting with you, you should know that I like you because, like, I flirt with Ladybug all the time and she knows. Did she know? I think she, I had to tell her, actually. So maybe she is oblivious. You know, I'm the only one who's not oblivious. Probably. Because I would know if someone had a crush on me. Even real me would know. <laughs> Whatever. She's just a friend. She's a very good friend. No, she's just a friend. Cat Noir would know. And real me would know. Which I'm not going to say my real name because I like my miraculous and I don't want it taken away. Yay! Anyway, let's continue with the story. Landing on her balcony with my famous flirtatious smirk, I tapped the window in a pattern that only me and YN knew. Do I just say YN? I'm just gonna say YN because it is me reading a fan fiction about me and YN, which is supposed to be your name, but it's, it's me, so. Listening carefully from the other side of the door, I heard her getting up from her bed and walked, walking to the balcony, her bunny slippers patting the wooden floor. She swung the double doors with a dreamy look and stared right at me. She let out a sigh and I raised my eyebrow. Wait, so I'm... Okay, so I'm wearing bunny slippers. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Okay. Good evening, kitten. How come you have that expression? Is it because of my arrival? I joked and she giggled just the slightest. Well, I may or may not have a crush on someone and they talked to me at school today she chirped and i could swear that my grin vanished in an instant oh my god i have terrible luck everyone has a crush on someone from their school what the heck what the heck <sighs> come on yn be better like me back <laughs> frowning at the newfound information i felt my whole body shut down and my heart skipping a beat um and uh, what's his name she snorted my way, leaning against the doorframe and crossing her arms over her chest. Yeah, like I would tell you. I chuckled awkwardly, scratching the back of my neck while trying to direct my gaze somewhere else, but her mesmer mesmerizing eye, eye color eyes. I gulped and pulled a bit on my bell. So, um, how did you start feeling that way uh, about him? And with that, she started telling me about all the times she had felt a tug on the strings of her heart. The more she explained, the more the feeling of defeat over took over me. No, I couldn't lose her over someone else. Heat rose to my cheeks from that thought and Yan took notice of my state as she cutely tilted her head. Hey, are you okay? Shaking my head from what I was thinking, I smiled at her, motioning that it was nothing. She nodded on Shirley, but soon went back to her story. Though while she wasn't looking my way, a small frown would appear on my face. I could never imagine my princess in someone else's arms. What happened to Princess? I like Princess. Can we keep calling her Princess? Princess. I like that. That's cute. <laughs> Sorry. Determined, I promised myself that I'd make her fall for me. Nothing would stop me. So after our chatting, I left and went to the Eiffel, the place where I could be alone and think. It took a few hours, but I was soon in my room getting my plan ready. Next day. Hello, my beautiful princess. I love that. Yes, keep calling her princess. I like that. I like that so much. Oh my God. 
First part, charm her. So, would you like to play a game with your favorite kitty cat? Second, persuade her to fall into my trap. Sure, what do you have in mind? Perfect. Now that she is inside, it's time to take action. How about truth or dare? Hmm? She thought about it. Okay, sure, why not? Let's go inside and play. I cheered as we entered her room. We sat down on her floor, cross-legged in front of one another. Go first, since you suggested to play. Home run, I smirked before smiling in innocently and resting my chin in between my palms. Truth or dare, Sherry? She thought for a moment. I'll be safe. Truth, I pouted. Bummer. You're lame, but I can work with that. Would you ever date me? She choked on her saliva as she heard my question. Her eyes went wide and her cheeks heated up as I could see the faint red color spreading across her skin. Uh, well, why would you like to know? She managed to squeak out. The corners of my lips quirked upwards and my eyebrows wiggled at her reaction. Just for the funds. Now answer me, would you? I inched the slightest closer and that only made her <gasps> better more. Well, I, maybe, I, I don't know. Cat, this is way too sudden. She stuttered out, hiding her face in her palms while shaking her head. I grinned excitedly. She was thinking about it. I may have a chance. My God, I should try this with Ladybug. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Clearing my throat, I came near her even more as I bent over her, making her gulp. Princess, I may have caught a side of you that I never thought I'd ever see. I, br I breathed out, making her shiver and shudder at my half-lidded eyes. What do you mean by that? Dot, 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 dot. There's five dots in quick succession. Just like, tsh, dot, 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 dot. You like me! W what? No, 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 I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, no, yes, no. No. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! She buried herself under her covers and curled up in a small ball, groaning loudly from embarrassment. I chuckled for a good minute before deciding to take it seriously. Hey, really, though? She peeked from under the blanket, looking at me curiously. I sat at the edge of her bed, looking at her sincerely. Would you ever consider me as more than a friend? She smiled shyly, crawling towards me and wrapping her arms around my waist. Cat, oh, why did I stutter? Cat, I, I would never lie to you. I have indeed developed feelings for you. And also, I tilted my head to the side, a bright smile resting on my features. My crush will never feel the same way. I just, I know he won't. So why chase after someone that maybe won't give me a chance when I have you here? I grinned excitedly and my tail started swaying from left to right from my eagerness. See? Tail swaying. Blew! Okay, why did I do that so quickly? So... I dragged the word as I wrapped my arms around her waist and got close to her. Does that mean that we are something? I referred to the two of us and she giggled, sitting in my lap. I'd like that, Kat. I'd really like that. That was enough for me. I pulled her on top of me and kissed her soft pink lips. She gasped at my sudden bold action, but she didn't stop me. I felt her respond back and I was over delighted by it. I really like you, YN. Really, really like you. I purred as I stroked her hair. She blushed at my comment but smiled while taking my cheek in her delicate hand. I really like you too, Kat. Mission accomplished. Wow, I have so much talent. I definitely need to try that with Ladybug because clearly that's gonna work. That would work. All I'd have to do is convince her to play truth or dare with me. She'd definitely date me, right? Maybe I should try to date YN. YN does date me. What um, N-O. She would not. This next fan fiction is by Sleepy R 3 d So, we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and read that one first. Long nights and early mornings. Oh, hey, it's a rewrite of Sleepy Kitty. That's cute, okay. You took your headphones off, placing them on the desk as you stretched your arms up and leaned back, looking up towards the skylight. You suddenly yelp, nearly falling out of your chair. Cat, don't scare me like that, you wheeze, opening up the window to let the cat hero in. It was pretty late and you knew with the feline coming in, your night would be a bit longer. Or so you thought. Yes, yeah, sorry, I just thought I'd stop by, see my favorite catnip. Oh my God, that's so cute again. I like these nicknames. Catnip, that's adorable. Okay. Cat Noir's smile, approaching himself at the windowsill, followed with a small yawn. He wasn't shy about showing his affection though it was strangely more endearing with the cat motive he had. He slinked off the windowsill, making his way to the couch. He stretched his arms forward, stretching his back, a shake of his head before sitting in his strange way. 
Is there a reason for your visit this time? You swivel around in your chair, softly biting at your pencil. You seem tired. Cat blinked, head slightly tilted. He didn't expect you to notice. Oh, am I? I'm fine. I'm fine. Cat? You're cat. Cat. There. Your voice was quite stern, though a, sm though a smile kept at the edges of your lips. So like, cat. Yeah, I did it right. What? Be honest with me. Fine. <laughs> Why did it seem like that? Stop reading it wrong. Fine, he muttered, turning his head away. I wanted to come see you. I like it here better than home. Oh, that just got really depressing. Okay. His voice was a bit quiet, hugging his knees to his chest. You feel safe. Now it was your turn to blink in surprise, not expecting such heartfelt words to leave Kat's mouth. Safe? That's a new one. A smile melts across your lips, heart swelling in your chest. Aw, Kat. You stand up, settling, setting down your pencil. I don't know how to read. You didn't hesitate. Coming to the touch cat was perched on. Coming to the couch. <laughs> Am I reading the right words? I'm not reading this right. Coming to the couch, cat was perched on, arms open and pulling him into a hug. You, sweetheart, you know my window's always open for you. Cat stiffened for a moment, only to immediately relax into your touch. He glanced up at you, wide green eyes half lidded with sleep. It was nearing to be one in the morning, not something he was greatly used to. Don't I have school tomorrow? I am still in high school. I should have school tomorrow. Oh well. Here, you murmured softly sitting down. You propped a pillow at your back, then pat your thighs. Lay down, you need some sleep, so I'll help. Why in? Cat tried to con contest, not wanting to overstay his welcome. Rest, you need the sleep. Plus, I give the best head. head Head, head. I can't read. I give the best head scratches. The moment head scratches hit his ears, Cat's eyes lit up. The smallest moment of hesitation before he lied down, head tucking onto your thighs as a comfy pillow. It felt a bit strange for a moment. Sure, you two have hugged before, and of course he likes you, but this felt more intimate and romantic than any gesture he could throw at you. And then your fingers buried in his hair, nails against his scalp, and the gentle rhythmic rhythmic stroke of his hair. Heaven was right here and he was living in it. His eyes fluttered shut, purrs starting to rumble from his chest subconsciously. He didn't even realize he was purring until he heard a small giggle. What's so funny? Nothing. Oh, come on, please. I'm very vulnerable right now. I just didn't know you purred. Cat paused, feeling his cheeks start to glow red. I didn't know I purred either. Oof, that sucks. Well, I purr, now I know. He mumbled, softly turning his face to try and hide it a bit more. His cat ears flick, flicking a bit for added effect. He felt the need to push the blame onto Plag later for this. That is something I would do. <laughs> Plag, why didn't you tell me I purred? That's something I would do. Oh, hush, it's adorable. Close your eyes, okay? You continued to softly stroke through his hair, running your nails up his head and gently pulling back, repeating the motion. Relax. Cat huffed, nodding softly. He let his eyes flutter closed, focusing on the sensation again. It felt nice. His purrs rumbling up again. Before he even realized he was that tired, he was fast asleep. You smiled down at the other, letting a sigh of relief leave your mouth. I hope he isn't too stressed about anything, you speak under your breath, careful not to wake the kitten up. You let your shoulders relax, sitting back against the sofa, closing your eyes. Maybe it was time you get some rest too. There was a weight on your chest, something a bit heavy and warm. The warmth seemed to wrap around your body a bit more than a blanket usually would. Did you really fall asleep on the couch again? You went to move, only you couldn't. Something was holding you down. You reach a hand up to rub your eyes free of sleep, looking down to see a tuft of blonde hair resting against you. A smile crept to your lips, only to remember... There aren't cat ears on this head, and those clothes weren't a leather suit. In fact, they were white and familiar. Jeans? It was abnormal to wear to bed. Oh, do I untransform at night? Oh, oof. Okay. Mm, why Ann? Adrian muttered. Oh, it said my real name. How do you know that? Okay. Yawning as he stretched an arm out, propping himself up a bit to look at you. He stared for a moment, then his eyes became wide. 
Both your eyes were locked, surprise written over both your faces. One of them seemed more in fear. I, Adrian started, his cheeks flowering in, bright, in a bright red. Adrian, you started in chorus with him blinking slowly. Suddenly, he felt a small attack of the giggles, trying to hold them back, shoulders shaking a bit as a smile pulled at the corners of your lips. Oh my god, Wh what? Please don't tell anyone. Okay, I know this seems like a lot. Just, he started to get up, arms placed either side of you to push himself up. Adrian, you cup his cheeks, making him stop. His head hovering over yours. Why am I reading so fast? Hovering over yours, propped up and hovering over you. You smile, a more mischievous smirk. I'm absolutely making fun of you for purring now. Adrian could feel his blush get warmer, lips pulled tight, the corners slightly turned up. He could feel him start him oh. I can't read. He could feel himself start to giggle as well, something specific crossing his mind. I like them so much. No, you're not, because if you are, you're getting a visit from the tickle monster. That's so childish. I know, he smiles, hands sliding down, then just up to your shirt. He didn't seem to hesitate, starting to poke and tickle at your sides. It made you burst out into laughter, pushing him away to get to, to get him to stop. Ha, 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 Adrian, you shouted, getting his own laughter in response. Agree not to tell anyone. Okay, okay, just st st stop it. He smiles, satisfied, pulling his hands out from your shirt. Thank you. Now, about those head scratches, he seemed to nudge your hand up to his head, pressing his head to your upper chest his arms sneaking around your middle, almost to keep you there. Oh my god, since when did you get so cuddly? Since I've shown the perfection that is you. Can, can we say like perfection? That's so cute, oh my god. <laughs> sure thing, Casanova, free head scratches it is. Bro, why am I saying this? It's about me to me. Oh my god, I love myself. I'm so great, I'm so amazing. You know, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm allowed to say this, it's me. To me, like what the heck? Yes, I'll scratch my own head. No, I'm not gonna scratch my own head, that's weird. He didn't seem to purr the same as he did before. Maybe it had to do with the hero transformation, but you could swear you heard a purr as Adrian exhaled a sigh of contentment. <laughs> I purr in normal form too? That's so dumb. <laughs> I'm, I'm yelling at Plague when I detransform later. He is getting an earful. I refuse. I refuse. No, I refuse. Why didn't he tell me that purring was a side effect? That seems like something you can't just overlook and forget about, just pretend isn't real. So you're gonna tell me that I purr, but you're not gonna tell me that I purr before I transform for the first time? So now I'm just gonna be stuck purring my whole life? That's so annoying. <sighs> Whatever. Plague is gonna hear it. Plague is gonna get yelled at. Plague is going to need to shut his little mouth because Plague is annoying and he needs to learn that he can't just not tell me that I purr. If I purr, I need to know. I need to be told. I need to be warned. Oh my god, I'm going off about purring and the video is over. This is the end. I'm upset. Apparently I purr. Thanks for telling me.